Welcome. Today's lesson is how to get photos from your iPad or even your iPhone uh, to your Google Classroom account. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Today what I'd like to show you using an iPad on how you can get some of your pictures that are required for your assignments in Google Classroom there very, very quickly and easily. The first thing you'll have to do is make sure you log into your Google Classroom account given by the school district. So let me show you how that works. The next step is to find your Google Classroom app. You need to click it once. Now I'm already logged into this, so once this thing launches, you'll see that I'll have access to all the classes. But really what I'd like to do next is I want to click on this little stack of pancakes here called classes. And uh, when I can do that, I can see that I'm actually logged in. And I would suggest you do that as well so that you can make sure that you're logged in. If you click to the arrow right to the right of it, click it once, you'll see all the folks who are logged in at this time. Now it's best if you're the only one logged in. So what you can do is click on manage accounts, click manage, and then remove the person uh, that's not, doesn't need to be there. So I'm going to remove myself from my personal account. And then I'm going to click on the account that I want to be activated. Now that I've got that down, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to click on the home button on the iPad on the bottom. Now I've also put my orientation so it's um, more vertical. So my iPad is more vertical than, than horizontal. Now what I want to do next is I want to find the app named Skitch. Now on mine it's it's in the utilities uh, area. Uh, you're, you might have to scroll two or three pages. But there's a app called Skitch. S-K-I-T-C-H. I'm going to click that once. And when I do that I will be able to see a variety of different albums um, primarily in the, the photo bucket of the iPad itself. Now, for instance, on one of our assignments, I've asked you to mark up and label uh, the DNA model that you made. So I, I ask you to take a picture with the iPod. And the iPod will keep it in its photo bucket. So I'm going to just go to here to onions um, because I've been showing some students how to judge onions and the names of, of the parts and that sort of thing. And that's the one I'm going to mark up and label. So as you can see near the bottom of the picture, you'll see colors. Now I can choose any color that, that, my, that I want my label to be. So I'm going to click green. And then I've got a palette of tools. I can draw arrows. Like all you have to do is actually just um, touch the tool and then just kind of move it, uh, your finger across the screen and it'll um, come to you. And then you can move it, you can shrink it, you can do some other things. I want to show the wick or the neck right there. And then what I can do is I click on the tool again. And I see A, I want to label it. So I am, that, that I've got that. So I'm going to call it uh, the neck or the wick. All right. And then I click on it. And then I can move it around. And I have other tools as well as well. I can draw squares. I can highlight things. I can put labels on them. I can even pixelate stuff out of it. So that's really um, all the different things you can do. It's pretty easy. It's a, it's, it's a um, free app so you can put it on your phone if you'd rather work on your phone. And now that let's say I'm all finished, I want to share it out. So I'm going to go to that box with the arrow at the top of it and click it once. When I do that, I have a variety of different things on the bottom. It says meeting, frequent, share, and save. All of those little subtitles, I'm going to just click on save because I really want to save to my account. Can, do I want to save to my Evernote account, clipboard, photos, or do I want to look at more things? I click on more things. So when I do that, it's going to show me all the various things. I, I can send it to my Google account, so I'm I'll logged in. Uh, Gmail, Notability, uh, Google+. Plus etc and even classroom if for some reason any of those things are not shown up on your iPod you click more and then you can turn things on and off for instance if, if I don't want to show anything to notability I can turn it off or I can turn it back on those kind of things so you want classroom and also Google Drive to be up there now I'm gonna send mine to, to Google classroom because I have an assignment that's due 
Um, you can also just send it directly, especially to you, those who have a phone. I suggest you send it directly to your um, your Google Drive account. But I'm going to say Google Classroom. I'm going to click that once. And it takes some time for it to actually find what's, uh, what's available. It's going to take a little bit of time to do that. And as it does, if you notice what it will do is it'll show the picture. And then, like, for instance, it's going to show me attached to what assignment to what. Now, I have a student account open just so that I can show you what to do because it doesn't really attach it to, the to of course, the teacher account because, well, I'm the teacher. So it says attach it to that assignment. Review what it does to take a masterpiece. No, I don't want it to do to that one. So I click on that. And I am doing it, let's say, on genetics, the unit final. So I'm going to click on that once. And that's where I really want to attach it. So I'm going to take th that particular assignment, open it up so I can drop in the picture of the onions. So I click attach. And now it's, it's on its way to send it. Now, what will happen is it will go to that assignment and then, and then attach it, well, as an attachment. So really, that's all there is to it. Um, it's just making sure you follow these steps. The main thing is you have to be logged into your personal account. And second off, make sure you choose the correct assignment and then click attach. And there it is. I hope this has helped you. If you like this, please click the like button uh, if it's helped you out in any way. And if you want to see more of them, click subscribe. So we'll see you in your lab. Thank you very much. Bye.